Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, our Lord and our God, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning. We thank you for your loving kindness and your unfailing promises, O Lord. Throughout the scripture, you promise to answer us when we call. Specifically in your word in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, you said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee. And Lord, you give us the assurance in Jeremiah 29, 12, that Lord, then you will call on me, and you will come and pray to me, and I will hear your voice, and I will listen to you. Lord, with that confidence, Father Lord, we thank you. With the confidence that you are the great hearer of prayer, we come before you this morning with our hands lifted up, with our mouth filled with praise, and with our heart of thanksgiving for your love, for your mercy, and for your faithfulness. Lord, we are asking this morning, let our praise be a sweet smelly server unto you, O Lord. For thou art our God, and we praise you, Lord. Thou art our God, and we exalt you, Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. This morning, let us lift our voice in glorious praise to our Father in the name of Jesus for his goodness towards us. Father, Lord, we praise you this morning. We praise you that, Lord, because of your mercy, our life is hid in Christ and we are protected. Thank you for your care, Lord. Thank you, Father. Great God, we praise you for grace to live productive life and for working out your will in our life. For this, Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful, Father, Lord. Holy Spirit divine, we thank you for helping us to show forth the praises of him who call out of the darkness into light. We praise you, our loving Father. We thank you this morning for being dependable. You are shelter. In the time of storm, Lord, we exalt you. We exalt you this morning, Lord. Hallelujah be to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, great and merciful Father, we thank you, Lord, for you are faithful one who give us all things to enjoy. Be exalted, O oh Lord our God, this morning, Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Romans 3, verse 23 said, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes, all have sinned, but there is forgiveness. We need to ask for forgiveness of the sin of our the sin of our own personal sin, of our family, of our ancestors. And of the land that where we live in, let us pray that, Lord, it is indeed. We have spawned your laws and trampled upon the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, Lord, this morning we're asking for forgiveness. Because, Lord, we have elevated man above God, both in our personal life, in our community, Lord. Lord, we are asking, Lord, to forgive us, for we have criticized, we have mocked, we have lied about your servants, Lord. Lord, we are asking for forgiveness this morning because we have fabricated our parental position. Oh, Father, Lord, we are asking you, Father, for forgiveness this morning because we have contributed to the dysfunctional families, oh, Lord. Father, Lord, we are asking for forgiveness, oh, Lord, because we have not raised our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yes, Father, Lord, in every area where we have failed, Lord, this morning, we are asking for forgiveness, Lord, because we have not shown empathy and love to others with all this father we are asking you lord that you have mercy upon us this morning forgive us so lord in the name of jesus christ anything that will hinder our prayer this morning father we are asking and pleading the blood of jesus christ to wash us clean in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen i want you to turn your bible to psalm 121 with me this morning we're going to declare that psalm clearly ourselves uh, this morning psalm 121 if you have your bible turn to psalm 121 we're going to read it out loud make it personal to yourself this morning psalm 121 says i lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. 
He who washes over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who washes over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord washes over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will wash over your life. The Lord will wash over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Lord, because that is your promise this morning. And we're standing on that promise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now we want to pray for ourselves this morning we have come. We want the heavens to open over us, over our children, over our family, our business. In the name of Jesus Christ, Isaiah 64 verse 1 say, Oh, that thou will rend the heavens, that thou will come down, that the mountains might flow down at the presence. We want God's presence in our midst this morning. So let us pray that blessed Holy Spirit, open my understanding and give me the grace to enjoy open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed Holy Spirit, open my understanding and give me the grace to enjoy open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life and upon the heavens above me in the name of jesus christ i plead the blood of jesus upon my life upon my children's life upon my grandchildren's life upon the heavens above me upon the heavens above my children in the name of the lord jesus christ in jesus name amen i raise the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I declare open heavens over my head in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I raise the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I declare open heavens over my head, over my children, over my family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let everything in creation cooperate with my open heavens. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I'm praying. Let everything in creation cooperate with my open heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shall not operate under closed heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I shall not operate under closed heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ. My heavens open in the name of Jesus Christ. My heavens must open in the name of Jesus. My blessing will fall in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Every gate of brass and bars of iron causing hindrance to my open heaven break by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, every gate of brass and bars of fire causing hindrance to my open heaven break, 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 break in the name of Jesus, break by fire. Every gate of brass and bars of fire causing hindrance to my children's open heavens break by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Ancestral witchcraft cobweb covering my open heavens catch fire and be roasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancestral witchcraft cobwebs covering my open heaven catch fire and be roasted, be roasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancestral witchcraft cobweb covering my children's open heavens catch fire and be roasted in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Every wish card blanket covering my hope on heavens be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wish card blanket covering my hope on heavens, covering my children's hope on heavens be consumed by the fire of God. Be consumed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 9 says, she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Talking of wisdom. And Psalm 102 verse 13 said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Let today my heavens will open 
in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that, Lord, let spiritual blindness be erased from my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let spiritual blindness be erased from my life, for my children's life, for my grandchildren's life, for every member of my household. Father, Lord, this morning I pray, let spiritual blindness be erased from my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, from the life of my spouse, Lord, let spiritual blindness be erased from the life of my, my life, my children's life, every member of my household. In the name of the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I come against the powers of darkness, blinding and holding me back from receiving the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. When you talk of the gospel, you know, salvation is part of it, you know, because that is just the beginning to introduce you to the good news. We need good news. So I come against the powers of darkness, blinding and holding me back from receiving the gospel, the total gospel that the Lord Jesus has died for and have purchased for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against the powers of darkness, blinding and holding me back and holding my children back from receiving the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, we come against the powers of darkness that is blinding and holding our children back from receiving the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I command you, Spirit, of the power of the hair, to lose your hold upon me so that I will be free to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us have accepted him as Savior, but we're not ready to accept him as Lord. This morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you, Spirit, of the power of the hair, to lose your hold upon me, lose your hold upon my children so that we can all be free to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, Spirit of the power of the head, to lose your hold upon me, upon my children, upon my grandchildren, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, so that we all can be free to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I tell them, and as much every stronghold of deception that is keeping me in the enemy's camp, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I tear down and as smash every stronghold of deception keeping me in the enemy's camp, in Jesus' name, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, because God says, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, this is the set time. The set time has come. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I tear down and I smash every stronghold of deception keeping me keeping my children my grandchildren in the enemy's camp this morning I smash them down I tear them down in the name of Jesus Christ every stronghold that is keeping our children or the old them in deception that is keeping them in the enemy's camp this morning by the power of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let every stronghold be pulled down let every stronghold be teared down in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, intervene. Intervene in our life, in the life of our children. Anything, oh Lord, every deception that is keeping them in the enemy's camp. Lord, this morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it be teared down. Let it be smashed into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, my Father, by your power, let me come from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let me come from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let my children come from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the name of Jesus. Every member of my household, my children, my grandchildren, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, Father, Lord, everyone that is still in the kingdom of darkness this morning, I'm asking you, Lord, that you will set them free. Bring them out of darkness, O Lord. And any form, in any way, that I myself are in the kingdom of darkness. This morning, Father, I pray, let me come from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. O Lord, my Father, let your plan and purpose for my life prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, let your plan and purpose for my life prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Heavenly Father, I'm asking you by your power this morning, let your plan and purpose for my children's life prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word say that the plan of God for them is good, it's not bad. They have they have a hope and future in you. So, Father Lord, this morning, let your plan and purpose for our life prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, let every evil imagination against me wither from the source. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my God, I lift up my voice unto you this morning because Lord, you say we shall cry unto you. And early in the morning, Lord, you will hear our voice. So Lord, this morning, let every evil imagination against me, against my children, against my ministry, against my career, against my business, let every evil imagination against me wither, wither from the source. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, let every evil imagination against my children with that from the source in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every evil imagination against my ministry with that from the source in Jesus' name. Let every evil imagination against my career with that from the source in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let every evil imagination against my business with that from the source in the name of Jesus. Let every evil imagination against my marriage with that with that from the source in in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Because, Father Lord, you are on the throne. This morning, I pray that those laughing me to scorn shall witness my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord God is still on the throne. is the unchangeable God. So, Father Lord, this morning, I declare that those laughing me to scorn shall witness my testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I serve a living God. God, the unchangeable God. Lord, this morning, those laughing me to scorn, those laughing my children to scorn, shall witness our testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our Father, you know the area where they are laughing us to scorn. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, you are the unchangeable God, the almighty God, the I am that I am. Lord, prove yourself, Lord, in our life, oh, Lord, on this prayer platform. That's oh Lord, those laughing us to scorn. Let the witness our testimony that you are God, that you are our God, you are the faithful God, you are the healer, you are the deliverer, you are Lord, you are our Savior. Let them witness, oh Lord, our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. So, Father, we're asking you, let my point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, the God that say there is any anything has for God to do? No. The God of impossibility. Yes, Lord God Almighty. With you, nothing shall be impossible. So this morning, Father, let my point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my children's point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, for unto you we lift our hearts, O Lord, this morning. Not unto any mountain, not unto any man or anything but unto you, the creator of heaven and earth, O Lord. Let our point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord, let all power sponsoring evil decision against me be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, let all power sponsoring evil decision against me, against my family, let them be disgraced. Let them be disgraced this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, let the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Data, and Abiram militating against me be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dayton and Abiram militating against me be smashed to pieces, be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dayton and Abiram militating against my children, against any member of my household this morning be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord my God, let every spirit of Balaam 
higher to cause me fall after the order of Balaam in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let every spirit of Balaam hired to cause me, to cause my family, fall after the order of Balaam in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, let every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah planning evil against me. Receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah planning evil against me, against my family, and receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, let every spirit of Egypt Every spirit of slavery, every spirit that will not let me go, fall after the order of Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord my God. Let every spirit of Herod be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit that killed good things at infancy. Oh, Father Lord, let every spirit of Herod be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. On this prayer platform, in our life, in our family, in Lord, let every spirit of Herod be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to go to the word of God quickly before we continue our prayer this morning. And we're going to read from 1 Samuel chapter 17. And I will read from verse 45 through 47. Actually, to 46. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And David said to Philistine, you come against me with the sword and spear and javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will give the carcasses of the Philistines army to the birds of the wild animals and the whole world we know that there is a God in Israel. When we read the Bible, do not be afraid to declare what the word of God say. Even before David killed Goliath, which is so much, he already declared. Because um, those who doesn't understand when you say, if you are, go back to your center. David just said it back. Because the Philistines said to David, I will kill you. I will do this. I will do that. Uh -uh. David said, no, it's not going to be that way. Instead, you'll be the one. It will be the opposite. So let us read the Bible with understanding. David was certainly an optimist very optimist. Regardless of his circumstances, David could always see God's activity. A pessimist focuses on the problems, concentrating on the reasons why something cannot be done. The optimist sees those same problems but he sees them from the perspective of God's presence. That is the difference. David was just a young boy when he faced Goliath, an intimidating veteran warrior who frightened even the bravest Israelite soldier. As he prepared for battle, David saw that Goliath was a giant, he had his boastful taunt. He could not fail to notice his enemy's weapon, a sword, a shield, and a javelin. David did not budge into the battle unprepared for a fight. He harmed himself with five small stones. David was prepared for God to grant him victory with the first stone he hauled at the giant or, or the fifth. David was ready 
to accept God's victory, whether it came easily or with much effort. Optimist, do not ignore the difficulties. No, they are clearly aware of them, but the knowledge of God's presence prevent them from becoming discouraged or giving up. Whatever you are going through, let the knowledge of God's presence encourage you. Let the word of God saturate your mind. See God in that situation. It is impossible to stand in the presence of God and be a pessimist. The account of David and Goliath vividly picture the source of the Christian faith. It's not our own size. It's not our own strength or resources, but the power of Almighty God. Okay? Remember, whatever you are facing, either sickness or whether other eyes issue, whatever it is, it's not our own size. It's not our strength or resources, but the power of the Almighty God that uh, confronts that, that problem, that situation, whatever it is. If we could focus on our opposition and problems, they will seem jangetic. But as we focus on God, we will see our situation in the proper perspective and be assured that all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. That is the word of God, that all things are possible. And then we can declare, you know, in the word of God, that yes, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. We can do things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. So this morning, let us know. God is on the throne and is inviting us. This morning, before we pray, we're going to sing that the, the physician is on the throne because I promise us every Saturday we're going to be praying on the, about our health. So let's listen.
Amen. Amen. I understand the volume is too low. Uh, it, that is the highest. I think it's just the recording that was slow. So sorry about that. So we're going to pray. The great physicians is in the room this morning. Let us thank the Lord for our redemption. The redemption of our soul. First of all, that is what the great physician has done. Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the redemption of my soul. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. And I want us to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus, every part of our body this morning. Ask the Lord, Father, Lord, I cover myself and my body with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I soak my body in the blood of Jesus. I soak my body, I soak my life in the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. I lose and I release myself from the cause of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the great physician is here this morning, I lose and I release myself from the cause of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose and I release myself from the cause of infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I denounce and I renounce any covenant of sickness formed consciously or unconsciously, whether by me or on my behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I lose and I release myself. From any covenant of sickness form, consciously or unconsciously, whether by me or on my behalf, in the name of Jesus Christ, I denounce and I renounce it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I denounce and I renounce any covenant of sickness form, consciously or unconsciously, whether by me or on my behalf, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. I command the covenanted spirit of the cause and evil covenant to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Since I've renounced it, you do not need to stay. I command the covenanted spirits of the cause and evil covenant to go in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You spirits of whatever the sickness be in your body this morning, pray, lose your hold. And depart from my body in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of arthritis, you spirit of high blood pressure, you spirit of diabetes, whatever it is this morning, mention it. Lose your hold and depart from my body in the name of Jesus because my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, you spirit of arthritis, you spirit of diabetes, you spirit of high blood pressure, you spirit of kidney stone, of whatever it is this morning, hear the word of the Lord. Depart from my body in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I release myself. From every inherited sickness in the name of Jesus Christ, I release myself. From every inherited sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release my children. From every inherited sickness in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus begin to flush their blood. From every inherited sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is some sickness that say it go from one generation to the other, or it will skip one generation go to the other but by the power and the blood of jesus christ every inherited sickness this morning i release myself and my children my grandchildren by the power and the blood of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen oh lord my father let the power of the holy spirit overshadow me in the name of jesus christ father lord let the power of the holy spirit overshadow me in the name of jesus christ heavenly father let the power of the Holy Spirit overshadow me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, let the power of the Holy Spirit overshadow me in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Any evil seed 
planted in me to destroy my body, which is the temple of God, catch fire and be roasted in the name of Jesus. Any evil seed planted in my body to destroy my body, which is the temple of God, catch fire. Receive the fire of God and catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, Lord, any sin in my life facilitating sicknesses and infirmity or any kind of disease, Lord Jesus, forgive me and wash me clean with your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, any sin in my life facilitating sicknesses and infirmity or any kind of disease, Lord Jesus, forgive me and wash me clean with your blood in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Where I have been knocked down by the power of infirmity, O hand of the Lord, lift me up in the name of Jesus Christ. Where I have been knocked down by the power of infirmity, O Lord my Father, let your hand lift me up this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we ask him, wherever, 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 Lord, any one of us have been knocked down by the power of infirmity, O hand of the Lord, lift us up in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Self-induced sickness, break your hold over my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, this can occur by bad eating habit or by unhealthy addiction. Let us pray itself in this sickness. Break your hold over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Self induced sickness. Some of us know that sugar is not good. We're still consuming it. Oh, self induced sickness. Break your hold over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Self induced sickness. Break your hold over my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Any power in the here, on the earth, or in the waters. Either my angel of feeling in the name of Jesus, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power in the air, on the earth, or on the waters, even my angel of healing, this morning, I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Any power in the air, on the earth, or in the waters, either my children, angel of healing, or any member of my household, angel of healing, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name amen by the power of God every evil clinical prophecy upon my life yes you get the reports this morning take that report to the Lord this is what the doctors say but the great physician will give his final verdict every evil clinical prophecy upon my life upon my children's life be reversed and be cancelled by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every evil clinical prophecy upon my life upon my children's life be reversed be cancelled by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ every evil clinical prophecy upon my life upon my children's life be reversed be cancelled be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ maybe they give you that prophecy Oh, your womb will never carry any child anymore because of this, because of that. Or oh, that womb is full of quiet blood. This morning, the great physician is around. He will touch you. Just touch him. Just touch him by faith this morning. That, that woman, maybe you are bleeding and you remember the woman that is bleeding, has been bleeding, suffering for 18 years. But he touched the hem of his garment this morning. The great physician is around. Touch him. That every evil clinical prophecy upon my life will be reversed and be cancelled by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen amen any form of sickness that has entered into my life mysteriously 
get out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Mysteriously, get out again in the name of Jesus. Any form of sickness that has sent into my life, into my children's life, or my grandchildren's life, mysteriously, get out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God say that we are wounded, he was wounded for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Therefore, any power of sickness and infirmity that has entered into my life mysteriously, get out, get out, out by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Power of sickness and infirmity controlling my life, scatter by fire, scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Power of infirmity controlling my life in the name of Jesus, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Environmental hold of sickness and infirmity over my life, break by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. This may be seasonal, you know, it may the, the fall is coming, the spring is coming, it's one sickness after the other. This morning, you can ask the great physician to touch you. He's the one who has created this body. Environmental hold of sickness and infirmity over my life break break by fire in the name of jesus christ environmental hold of sickness over my children's life break by fire in the name of jesus christ in jesus name my body hear the word of the lord expel and reject every stranger of sickness residing in you in the name of jesus christ by the power in the blood of jesus christ my body hear the word of the lord Expel and reject every stranger of sickness residing in you in the name of Jesus Christ. My body, hear the word of the Lord because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. This morning, expel and reject every stranger of sickness residing in you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. By the authority in the word of God, I break the hold of sickness over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mention the name of that sickness if it's diabetes if it's arthritis this morning by the authority in the word of god i break the hold of sickness over my life in the name of jesus christ i break the hold of sickness over my children's life in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen arrow of cancer Fired into my body, jump out and locate your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Arrows, cancer, fired into my body, jump out and locate your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. But if you want to keep it, you can keep it. But myself and my family, any arrow of cancer fired into my body, unto any or any member of my household this morning, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, jump out. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Grip of sickness and infirmity upon my life be destroyed by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grip of sickness and infirmity over my life be destroyed. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible says, Mark eleven twenty four. 24, it said, Therefore I say unto you, what is soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them in the name of jesus christ and the lord said jeremiah 30 17 for i will restore health unto thee i will heal thee of thy wound says the lord this morning cry out to the lord believe in your heart that the lord has promised that the lord will never fail in his promise ask him lord Restore health to me. Restore health to my body. He restore health to my every organs of my body, to my womb, to my breast, to my to my eyes. Oh Lord, restore health, oh Lord. Because Father Lord, you promise, for I will restore health unto thee, and you will never fail. Lord God Almighty, this morning, restore health unto me, Lord. Restore health and heal my wound, oh Lord. Heal my wound. If you have performed surgery this morning, ask the Lord to be bring perfect healing into that wound in the name of Jesus, that everything will be healed in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah 14 and 17 verse 14 says this, Hear me, O Lord, and I shall be heard. Save me, and I shall be saved. 
for thou art my prince. And remember, earlier he said, Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. So pray, hear me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Because thou art my praise, I will praise you. Father Lord, hear me, O Lord. Father Lord, as many of us that need your touch this morning, Lord our God, you never fail. Let your healing power begin to work now, begin to operate, O Lord, from the top of our head to the sole of our feet. O Lord, our healer, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Hoi, we are asking you, Lord, in your mighty power, you are the healer, Lord. You are the great physician. Lord, this morning we declare, heal, O Lord, then we shall be healed. Save us, O Lord, then we shall be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, and we shall praise you. Father, Lord, heal us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, heal our body, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Third John chapter 1 verse 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in death, even as thy soul prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to ask the Lord, Father Lord, prosper me. Prosper me in my body. Let it prosper. It be in good death, O Lord. In my body, my soul, my spirit, Father Lord, prosper. Prosper me. You are the only one that can prosper. It, Lord, it is your blessing that make Christian add no sorrow. So, Father Lord, prosper me, my soul, my body, my spirit, this morning, Father Lord, that it will be in good death, O Lord, that I will prosper and be in good death according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. O Lord, my Father, let every desire and expectation of the enemy in my life come to naught in the name of Jesus Christ because Father Lord you will prosper me I will be in good death I will be, I will be in good death in body soul and spirit so Father let every desire and every expectation of the enemy in my life be come to naught let it come to naught in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen Amen I lose myself from any spell any spell directed against my head in the name of jesus christ i lose myself from any spell directed against my head against my chest against my stomach against my reproductive organs against my hands and my legs in the name of jesus christ i lose myself from any spell directed against my head my chest my stomach my reproductive organs and my head my hands my legs just mention any part of your body this morning by the power in the blood of jesus christ by the authority in the word of god i lose myself from any spell any cause any bewitchment directed against my head against my chest against my stomach against my reproductive organs my hands and my legs in the name of the lord jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father let every jam every parasite every poison working against my head be neutralized by ghost fire in the name of jesus christ father lord i'm asking let every jam every parasite every poison working against my head be neutralized by the fire of god be neutralized in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen lord jesus transfuse me with your blood in the name of jesus christ oh lord jesus transfuse me with your blood in the name of jesus christ lord jesus transfuse me with your blood in the name of jesus christ heavenly father transfuse me with your blood in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen my father my god Perform a creative miracle in every area of my body requiring such in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you are God of miracle. Lord, perform a creative miracle in every area of my body requiring such miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, God of miracle, perform miracle in every area of my body that needs miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, perform 
miracles, Lord, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 11, chapter 8, verse 11. I'm sorry. It said, God raised Jesus from death. And if God's spirit lives in you, he will also give life to your body that dies. Yet, God is the one who raised Christ from death and he will raise you to life through his spirit, his spirit living in you. This morning, pray, I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep saying it. I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. If any member of your household is sick this morning, your child, your grandchildren, I say I plug my grandchildren's life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my children's life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my life. I plug my children's life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ and let that fire begin to charge every part of the body that need life this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my organ, any organ in my womb to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. What part of your part body that you need to plug into the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning because the word of God say God raised Jesus from death and if God's spirit lives in you he will also give life to your bodies that die yes God is the one who raised Christ from death and he will raise you to life through his spirit living in you this morning i plug my life to the resurrection power of the lord jesus christ i will plug my life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my children's life to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name, Lord, this morning. We thank you for your healing power. Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, because yes, Lord, you are our God Almighty. You are our Lord that heal us, so Father. Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, because so, Lord, this is the day that you have made, O oh Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father, for this promise this morning, Father Lord. We worship you, we adore you, Father Lord, because, Father Lord, you are faithful to your word, O Lord. Blessed be to your name, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray that, Lord, make me strong in any area that I'm weak, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, make me strong in any area that I'm weak, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus Jesus name amen every umbrella of darkness in my life receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ every umbrella of darkness in my life receive the fire of God in Jesus name amen every blessing I've received today shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ every blessing that I've received today shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Father, for your mercy this morning. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.